From the battlefield to Congress, John James is heading to Washington after winning a newly created district in Michigan. He will make history becoming the first black Republican to represent, represent the state of Michigan. And here he is, the congressman-elect, John James. Congressman, I know how close you got as governor and senator. What does it feel like today to actually go out and, and w walk off with a W? You know, it feels great, and uh, I, I give glory to God, and uh, I thank my wife and, and my family and all the supporters, and especially the voters in Michigan's 10th Congressional District. Thank you for trusting me with the opportunity to make your life better. Thank you for trusting me with the opportunity to bring jobs back, lower prices, and make our community safer, not just here, but all across America. John, this day and age, why do you want to go into politics? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know what? Frankly, I don't. But, but we live in a great country because people before us sacrificed. They understood the term duty. They understood that they needed to do what they had to to make life better for future generations. And this Biden agenda is taking us in the wrong direction, moving our jobs to other countries, uh, a, a brink of world war in Europe, uh, and the price of everything going up. Our, our 401ks and our IRA is going in the wrong direction. We need people who have experience in the real world. And my experience both in combat, understanding what it takes to make us safe, secure, borders and also my experience in supply chain lowering mm -hmm. prices bringing back jobs those are the types of things that folks want their congressmen to focus on and I'm excited to focus on that when I get to DC okay I'm gonna hold you to lowering the price of mayonnaise 850 is just too much in my <laughs> grocery store oh wow John uh, explain to the folks okay so now uh, it, the balance of power we don't know how the Senate's gonna turn out but realistically if the Republicans do control the house how much can you guys actually change things well, we're certainly going to see. Well, we made a commitment to America, and uh, one of those items is uh, holding China accountable and uh, and making sure that that we uh, we bring jobs back. As a supply chain guy, I understand the policies that the Biden uh, agenda is is pushing on businesses, small and large, are pushing opportunities out. We need to make sure that we first start with our energy independence to lower the price of everything to make it more beneficial to do a business here. And then when you do that, you bring back manufacturing independence. We bring back agricultural independence. We make sure that we're strong here first, and then we exercise peace through strength, and we're able to use diplomacy and economy uh, to make sure that we keep our nation strong. But we have to make sure we have policies that keep more money back in the hands of people who've earned it, and we uh, lower taxes, lower regulations, and uh, make it easier to do business here because folks need to work. We need to lower inflation, and uh, I understand exactly how to do that. Real quick, what are the committees you're going to look to get onto? Well, uh, being someone who's going to be representing the number one manufacturing district in the nation, automotive and aerospace are very key. Uh, understanding uh, energy, understanding transportation, understanding right. uh, the things that will help keep our water safe, and also understanding the importance of freedom of speech, but also making sure we protect our children from the damaging effects of the Internet. These are all things mm -hmm. I understand, Good. and looking forward to bringing my skill set to help make America better.